and welcome back. Well, after a little scare of showers moved through the area this afternoon, it was absolutely gorgeous for the balloon glow. We'll check things out right now with our live HD Doppler radar. Now, it looks like a lot of activity going on, but the only real areas we've seen any rain are the little spots in yellow there throughout eastern Colorado. As I turn on the observed precipitation, this again just shows us where the uh, rain actually is. Again, you see a lot of that green on the Doppler, and all that really is is it's just indicating kind of a low layer of stratus clouds out there. But again, checking out that precipitation tracker, just a few spotty showers out to our east. Most of that shower activity staying well to our north, so it was an absolutely gorgeous night. Hopefully, you had a chance to swing out and check out the balloon glow. As for our sky scan, when we put a little bit of uh, action to these storms, again, everything tracking well to our east. And that's going to be the big story over the next few days is any storms that do kick up, which there's not a real strong chance of any rain really kicking up. But if it does, it's going to primarily stay over the higher elevations and move to the east for the most part. Pretty common, but again, we're looking relatively dry over the next few days. So when we turn on that sky scan again, as the evening progresses, we start to see this little bitty cold front start to move through the area. And that's going to take this area of high pressure, crunch it down just a bit and really cool down those temperatures. Not drastic, but definitely cooling them down a bit as the next few days wind in. So as we look into our Sunday, right around noon again. That cooler air is going to start settling in. The biggest effect of this cold front moving through the area isn't so much going to be, again, not real cold temperatures, cooling down a little bit, not really any rain either. We just don't have much moisture to work with. The biggest effect is going to be winds. Winds are expected to kick up out of the west tomorrow, about 15 to 20 miles an hour as the afternoon and evening progresses. So that could hinder the balloon glow just a little bit tomorrow night. So we'll keep our eye on that. But cold front really settles into the region by five tomorrow night. And then it just goes ahead and passes right on through the area, leaving us a very, very clear Sunday evening for you. As we take a look at your Sunday's highs, looking about 95 degrees into Pueblo, another hot one tomorrow, folks. 87 here into the Springs, 91 into Canyon City, a few 70s and 80s into the higher elevations and pushing the triple digits out to our east, about 97 into La Junta and Lamar, 98 down there into Springfield. So some toasty temperatures. But again, we do see a bit of a hiccup in the temperatures. Here's how the next seven days are going to play out for us. We do see that 87 degree mark again throughout our Sunday. And then as soon as that cooler air starts to set in Sunday night, that'll drop temperatures slightly by Monday, Tuesday, giving us a little afternoon cloud cover. But we're not suspecting much rain, if any, is really going to produce out of these storms. Any rain that does kick up is again going to primarily stay into the higher elevations. And then temperatures regain some ground by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, back into the 80s, looking at the 50s for your overnight lows. Pueblo, same story, plenty of sunshine to go around one day of that 85, or excuse me, 95 degree mark. And then temperatures taper down just again slightly into Monday, Tuesday as that cooler air tries to pass through the region. And then 90s to follow by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And as you notice, rain really doesn't return to the forecast until we look into about Thursday. And then we're just going to get a few afternoon storms rolling through the area, but overall staying relatively clear. Again, into the Canyon City region, looking at the 80s, and then warming back up to the 90s by Wednesday and Thursday. A bit chilly, though, for your overnight lows. Campers enjoying the Labor Day weekend, looking absolutely gorgeous up in the mountains into Teller County, looking at the 70s, and then warming back up to the mid 70s by Wednesday, with just a small dose of showers moving through the area by Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Saturday. So, a little bit chilly overnight. Again, the biggest concern is going to be tomorrow afternoon, and it's not even really a concern, but definitely for the balloon goers, we'll want to keep our eye on those winds because as that cold front starts to move through, expected to kind of kick things up a little bit. So, we'll definitely keep our eye on that. Yeah, a lot of people will be listening and waiting because it's definitely. Uh, very popular. Event. Well, and, and like I learned tonight when I was out there, I mean, about six miles an hour, they can't do that balloon glow mm -hmm. if the winds get over six miles an hour. And it sounds kind of minimal, but really, when you get those balloons yeah. that close to each other and they're wobbling all around yeah. out there, it can get kind of hairy. So, about six miles an hour is the cutoff, it seems and like, for the balloon glow. Flames and balloons. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> Anytime you have nylon yeah. and an open flame, exactly. you got to look out, right? Be careful.